Monotypes differ from monoprints in the fact that there is not a preset matrix or set of marks to create an addition. This is truly what makes monotypes be able to be one-of-a-kind painterly prints. With this in mind, a wide variety of materials can be used to create monotypes. Water-based markers can be used to create monotypes. To do this, you will need the following items. Water-based markers, such as Crayola or Prismacolor brands, a substrate or surface to draw on, and this can mean a Ziploc bag, a plexiglass sheet, mylar, or a sheet of glass. Printing paper. Papers with little to no sizing, such as Arches 88, Reeves Light and Heavyweight work best, but I encourage you to experiment with anything that you can find. And last, a towel for blotting your print paper. If you decide to attempt the Ziploc bag method, I would recommend inserting a piece of mat board or foam core to a lot for a white, non-skid drawing surface. If you wish to reference an image like in this example, stick this inside the bag as well. I would also recommend taping down the bag to prevent it from sliding around your work table. As you work, keep in mind that this type of print is not suited for detail, but rather gestural marks or backgrounds. Since these materials are water-based, one can easily draw back into the plate, smear or remove marks with Q-tips or a rag. Instead of using the tip of the marker, I would suggest using the side of the marker which seems to cover the surface better. As you can see, it is easy to use multiple colors and allow them to naturally blend. When you are ready to print, you will need to have access to a water source as this process only works with dampened paper. I'm using Arches 88, which I quickly ran under the tap in my kitchen and then blotted it with a bath towel. Carefully place the dampened paper onto your markered substrate. You do not need a lot of pressure to offset the drawing onto your paper. However, even pressure is ideal. If you have a sheet of waxed paper or a slick magazine cover, I would recommend placing this behind your wet print to carefully hand burnish. Water-based markers clean up with water. However, you may want to make a ghost print with any of the residual ink. One thing to keep in mind is that all drawn imagery needs to be done in reverse. Therefore, all text needs to be made backwards or mirrored.
Caran d'Ache water-soluble wax pastels can also be great to use for monotypes. They come in a wide variety of colors and when printed on dampened paper are very vibrant. Caran d'Ache pastels can also be combined with water to produce washy effects or can be used without to produce a hard line. Mistakes can be fixed with water and a rag very easily and the pastels can be combined and layered for a richer surface. Because of the waxy consistency of these pastels, it is possible to remove surface layers by carving into the wax-like surface to allow for the texture of white space to be able to print. In this case, I removed surface layers with my fingertips, brush ends, and old credit cards. If this detailed outcome is something that you are interested in, I would recommend a much lighter pressure when hand printing the images. When your plate is ready to print, it should be dry and free of any water pooling. Again, soak or mist paper with water for a few moments and blot with a towel. Carefully place on top of the plate and use a slick back sheet to help hand print the plate. If you feel you need additional pressure, use a wooden or plastic spoon to aid in burnishing. Again, any detail that you want to preserve Allow yourself to not push so hard. If you wish to capitalize on any residual ink, print a ghost print for a much lighter version of the plate.